thank you, Ella and Emmanuel, for sharing your stories. Since 2014, we have been bringing the power of Lightroom to your phone with Lightroom Mobile, which now has a redesigned UI and introduces new retouch features, adaptive presets, and AI-based workflows that help you relive your memories faster through the act of editing and get you to your final photo faster. To share with you the latest and greatest on Lightroom Mobile, here's Adobe Creative Evangelist, Terry White. Thank you. Thank you, Deepa. I am so happy to be back on the Mac stage, more importantly, talking about one of my favorite apps of all times, one of the apps that I use every single day. How many photographers in the audience? How many people that just like to take pictures? All right, so we got something for you no matter where you are on that spectrum, because Lightroom offers you so much more than what you can do over the standard Photos app. So I'm gonna start with my phone. And I'm gonna start where many of you start, or some of you, I won't, I won't say many, in your messy camera roll. <laughs> if your camera roll is anything like mine, you've got photos, you've got videos, you've got screenshots, you've got receipts from dinner last night, you've got memes, you've got jokes, you've got stuff you wanna buy later, you've got everything in that camera roll. But every now and then, you have a shot that's important to you. So I'm gonna go into my album here where I've got a photo that I took in Iceland. And I know Ener's out there, he was standing with me when I took this photo. This was a sunset, there he is. <laughs> this was a sunset and it just doesn't look the way I remember. So I could do some things with the Native Photos app, but I could do so much more if I take it over to Lightroom. So let's go ahead and send it over to Lightroom. And here it comes. And this is the beauty of Lightroom. It already came into an album that I'm already using for other things that I'm gonna share later. I can tap to hide the interface. I can enjoy the photo. More importantly, wow, this is a Terry White requested Lightroom feature. I can, while I'm in this mode, secretly rate the photo by sliding up and down on the left or right and give it a pick flag without ever having to leave this interface. Now I can go back and I can begin the editing process. I already, st I always start with an auto tone. So I'm gonna tap auto tone and that will begin to adjust the exposure and color. But it's just too washed out. So I'm gonna go to my favorite slider of all time in Lightroom and that is the dehaze slider. I'm gonna pull that over and now I'm starting to get that drama of the sunset that I remember. And it did it overall. What I'm really not seeing is the drama in the sky. So this is where we go to the grown-up app. Because in Lightroom, I can go to presets and more importantly, adaptive presets. You might be wondering, what are adaptive presets? It automatically generates masks based on the type of preset that it is. So I have portrait, sky, subject, and background. When I go to sky, it's already generating the mask for sky. So I can pick whatever sky preset I want, including ones that I made myself. That's a cool sunset. I love purple, one of my favorite colors. But that's not the look that I saw there. I'm gonna go to dark drama, and that gives me that feel of the sky that I'm looking for. But if it's too dark, not dark enough, I get a slider, and notice it's only affecting the sky being an adaptive preset. So there we are. This is where I started. This is where I end it. Quickly and easily, in Lightroom, non-destructively, on my phone. Also, bonus tip, as of today, you'll be able to share directly to Instagram from Lightroom on, phone, on mobile. All right, next up. I'm gonna head out of this because I also took some drone video when I was there. Now this drone video, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it because I don't really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. And it's taken off in a very random spot. It's the camera's pointing at the ground, at the gravel. I I'm, wasn't good at flying the drone right away, so it takes off and I'm not, no, not, I don't know where I am. But I'm gonna go ahead and just say, nope, I'm gonna trim all of this. I don't want any of that random footage at the beginning. I wanna go to the important part where I'm flying over the glacier. This is the part where I wanna be. So now that I've trimmed it, I can go into color, I can adjust the color of it quickly, I can go into light, I can bring down the exposure, adjust the lighting. I'm all, I'm, by the way, I'm doing this in real time while it's playing on my phone. Next up, 
I'm just going to go to presets because we have over 50,000 presets from the community, people like you that made presets. So I can get the look that I want. I can do all this. I can go to specific categories like cinematic. There's my, um, my, va my Vaporwave, Anna. Here it is. This is my Vaporwave Iceland. But let's go on. Let's go to HDR. And in HDR, we get some cool effects because we also are introducing HDR video editing on Lightroom Mobile as of today. So I'm going to go to one of my presets that I want. Here's a preset for warm sunset. That'll give me the look that I want. And we'll play that. We'll just let that go. And here's my before. Here's my after editing video live to tone it like my photos in Lightroom on mobile. All right. Next up, let's go to my favorite genre, working with portraits. Now, I took this in a garden, and it's OK. I, I could post this. But why just post it when you could do so much more with it? So I'm going to go in and do that auto tone. But the, the skin tone is just not quite warm enough. So I'm going to go to my uh, color, and I get this amazing white balance eyedropper. So I can just drag this over something that should be white, black, or gray, tap, and there it is. I get those warm skin tones that I want quickly and easily. Now that I'm, now that I'm there, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, because you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner, there's a brand new icon. Looks like a little magic wand. These are our brand new announcing today quick actions. And what quick actions do, first thing, it analyzes the photo. And it says, OK, I see a subject, a background, and a person. I'm going to offer these as suggestions for what you might want to edit. So I'm going to go right to retouch. And it's going to say, OK, I see a person. I see teeth. I see eyes, skin, hair, and clothing. Now I'm going to go to eyes, because I love the eyes to stand out. I'm going to exaggerate them for you so you can see the difference. I wouldn't make them quite that bright, but you can see them now. And then I'm going to go to teeth. Who doesn't want their teeth a little bit brighter in their photos? And next thing we're going to do, there's a whole industry for that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to hair. And then with hair, I'm going to just make the hair a little bit more contrasty and stand out a little bit more quickly and easily, all on my phone in Lightroom without having to go to Photoshop. So here's my before. Here's my after. Nice, subtle, easy retouching. But there's one more thing. One thing you can do to make your portrait stand out more is to make your background stand out less. So there's a brand new background mask. I just tap it. It figures out what the subject is and selects everything but the subject. Now that the background's selected, I can just lower the opacity, or oh, not opacity, the exposure of the background and bring that background down so that she stands out more against that background. I get the look that I want quickly and easily and non-destructively here on Lightroom. All right, let's switch over to one more photo. Now, you saw Anna talk about removing distractions, wires and cables. By the way, in Photoshop, there's also people distractions. But I'm on my phone. And as you can see, there's a big distraction in this photo. So I'm going to go to the Remove tool. And in the Remove tool, I've got a brand new toggle to toggle on the power of Firefly with generative AI. I've got it turned on. And unfortunately, it's time to remove that distraction. Let me make my brush the right size. There we go. You guessed it. The parents are just in the way. <laughs> no one wants to see their parents kissing at that age. We'll just Now, of course, I'm joking. I could let that go, and it would do a great job. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because the kid jumped in at the right moment, but the, the camera didn't capture and focus, so the kid's really the distraction in this case. And we're just going to go ahead and brush over the kid. Now, keep in mind, the kid is also blocking mom's legs. So not only does generative remove have to figure out how to remove the kid and put the background back, but also has to regenerate mom's legs just like that. Now, hold on, hold on. Let's give credit where credit's due. The phone companies are trying to catch up with this. They're putting this in the Native Photos app. But what they won't give you is the ability to pick your favorite result. You can choose the one you like best. That's the one I like best. Here we go. So again, before, after, non-destructively on my phone without having to go to Photoshop. Now, this is great. I did all of that from a landscape to video to portraits, to distraction removal, all on my phone without having to go back to my computer to work on it. But I'm a professional, too. And I like to shoot with professional cameras. And you saw Dacia 
and Paul talk about frame I.O. Well, I've got my frame I.O. open with some shots I've taken earlier so that they can collaborate and they can leave comments on them. But if you don't mind, let's try something. Mind if I take some pictures of the audience? All right, if I can get like 5,000 of you to move over. Wait, wait, they're telling me I can take more than one. Okay, you stay where you are. All right, here we go. Cool. And as you see, as I'm taking these pictures, Frame says, oh, I see new images coming in. Great. This is cool. So, I love you too. <laughs> All right, so I'm just shooting because I'm working with a camera that has Frame IO built in. So I can be out and about shooting. I can be in the studio shooting and my colleagues are getting the images as I take them to review and mark them up and tell me in my earpiece, you need to take more of the audience on this side. Great, I left you guys out. Wait, there's some executives over there. Let's get them too. There's Maria, yeah, there she is. She gave me a pose, there it is. All right, she gave it to me. Cool, let's move over here. There's Scott. There's... All right, we'll get some cool shots over here. Now. While those are coming in, even if, I didn't, even if I didn't have the browser open, they'd still go up to frame. They're coming in from the wireless connection on the camera. But you know what? While this is good, and while this is great for that kind of workflow, my photos are in Lightroom. That's where I live. So this is a great ability to have review and comments from my frame collaborators, but what, at the end of the day, I want all those shots that I just took to be in Lightroom. Well, we're giving you that as of today. I connected my Frame account to my Lightroom account. And so now, I not only have the ability to send photos over individually, who wants to do that? I don't even want to open a browser if I don't have to. Well, guess what? Here's Lightroom, they're already there. They're already there. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't even have to have the browser open because it's not only camera to cloud, it's camera to Lightroom. Yes, I'm trademarking that today. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for coming out. I love you, Miami. Back to you, Deepa. That was great. Thank you so much, Terry. We are so excited about Camera to Cloud, which, as he just showed, seamlessly syncs your photos straight from your camera into frame and Lightroom. We have partnered with leading camera manufacturers on Camera to Cloud, and today we're excited to announce three new partners joining the Camera to Cloud family. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Canon, Leica, and Nikon. Terry also showed the new Firefly Power Generative Remove, along with the all brand new Quick Actions, which are just a few of the powerful new features in Lightroom Mobile available free for download on iOS and Android. If you care about your photos, Lightroom is for you. Before I hand things back to Ashley, let me thank you so much for having me up here today. I'm looking forward to meeting and chatting with so many of you and leaving Max Miami more inspired than ever before. Have a great Max, and thank you so much.